Our um, project is called I See the Light, and it is a um, contraption to see how the light travels to the brain. And first we have the cornea, and it is a transparent lens that covers the iris, and it just helps focus the light. And then we have the pupil, and it, it, just, it just helps the light travel through the posterior cavity of the eye. And then we have the optic lens, which reflects the light. And then the retina, right here, which is the sensory, which has the cones and the rods. Uh, and then we got the, the blind spot. The blind spot is the area in the retina at the end of the optic nerve in which there are no photoreceptors. And then we have the optic chiasm where the optic nerve is nerves cross and then the optic tracts where a bundle of axons transmit nerve impulses from the retina to the eye. And then we have the lateral geniculate nuclei which leads to the occipital lobe and then it reaches the brain where the light reaches on the occipital lobe and the image is projected. ear contraption of how sound travels to the brain and I'm going to be explaining the external ear. So this is the helix and then the lobule. It together is the article which um, collects sound and from there it goes to the external auditory canal which um, directs the sound to the eardrum and it makes the eardrum vibrate and then makes the malleus vibrate. And then we have the middle ear. It has three uh, bones. One's called the malleus, which is also known as the hammers. Right here is the annulus. And then right here it's the, um, the oval window with the sta stapes. And then this is the inner ear. These are the hair follicles when the sound goes through, it vibrates. And then this is the copper the tube that goes through. When the sound goes to the hair follicles, it goes right into the temporal lobe inside the brain. This is the brain. These are her eyes, and we're going to talk about how they function. So, um, do we have it go along, or? No. Yeah. Right. So this, this, is our, this is the cornea, and, um, so light enters from front, goes through the cornea, the iris, into the pupil, and then through the anterior um, chamber, and then... Um, these are the lenses, and essentially what they do is uh, light goes into them, and they kind of like amplify, and the oros and serrata is uh, like the exit of those. And then they're going to reach the vitreous chamber, which is the jelly part of the of the eye. And then it's going to go through the vitreous chamber and into the retina. And typically what happens, it'll go through the retina and the rods and cones are going to be affected. And the rods um, enable you to see shapes and shadows and the cones enable you to see um, color. But with this one, it has a detached retina, which <laughs> doesn't allow you to see. So that's that. And then it's going to go that way. And then after that, travels through the optic tract and into the brain. And then after it travels through the brain, you have your image. Oh. <laughs> Dominoes. Okay, start again.
Alright, so this This is a uh, Ruby Goldberg <laughs> contraption showing how the vision of the eye occurs. And you start up here with the cornea and the pupil. Cornea is the outside of your eye and the pupil is like the, the inside. And then you come over to the iris, that's the color of your eye. And as you can see, he has a yellow-orange eye. And then you come down over here and you have the anterior chamber. And, and then it comes down into the lens, which helps your eyesight better. And I'm going to have Carlos take over the rest. And then it passes to the posterior chamber, and then goes to the rods and the cones, which uh, the rods give the shade and the cones give the color. And then goes into the retina, to the blind, blind spot then to the optic nerve going into the occipital part of the brain, occipital lobe, which projects the image that you'll see right now. Are you ready? Uh, what's up, everybody? This is the Ionator, and this is a uh, Rube Goldberg project which uh, shows how vision processes through our brain and uh, how it reflects in our eyes. So basically, it's, this is the outer portion of our eyes, and this is the uh, conductive, full bar conductive. And then it's going to pass through our cornea, which uh, absorbs light, and then through our pupil, which is a hole in our eyes. And then the iris is the color of our eyes. Uh, and, <laughs> um, and the iris controls the whole the people, and then the lens reflects the lights, and then the orbis serrata transports the, the image into this structure right here. The vitreous chamber has a whole bunch of jelly in there, and to the retina, it, the jelly holds like the wall in there. And then th through the end is the optic nerve, and through, from the optic nerve, the optic chasm um, cross sides into the, through the optic tracts and into the brain, which goes into the occipital lobe. And then from the brain, it comes out projecting the image or the light back into the eyes. and it's the outermost um, layer of the membrane of the eye and this is the pupil itself hole um, in the iris and the light enters through there and this is the cornea and um, it's a transparent um, coat that covers the iris and um, retracts the light and, and then the iris is, it helps regulate the amount of light coming chamber and then the lens refracts the light and the vitreous humor um, helps maintain the shape of the eye. Okay. So this is that retina and it's in these are the rods and cones which are the sensory receptors um, and we have millions of those rods and cones. Then it enters the blind spot and it's where it exits the eyeball. Then it continues through the optic nerve, which then crosses through the optic chiasm, which enters the brain, where it causes the image to appear.
got it? <laughs> Dim pop. Oh, the This is the Rube Goldberg contraption showing how hearing works. First, it goes to the ear, to the external auditory channel, all the way down to the eardrum. On the eardrum, the vibrations would go to the hammer, hitting the anvil, leading to the stirrup, and then heading off to the oval window. Then it enters the inner ear, in which you find the cochlea, where the sound processes to the brain. And then it also has the, a lot of hair cells. about how the air works. Our air is called the Air Force. That's Katrina, Paulina, and Marissa, and they're going to explain the adventures of the air. Okay, well, the air is made up of three parts. First, it's the outer ear onto the eardrum, and then we have the middle ear onto the oval window, and from the oval window, it's the inner, in, inner ear until it reaches the brain, which it goes through the temporal. Okay. We start at the ear, into the external auditory canal, then into the eardrum, which is the hammer. And then these are the smallest bones, which are called the malleus, and then the strapedius opens the oval window, which is the smallest muscle. And then right here, we use our balance for our body. And then right here <laughs> sorry, um, are all the hair cells, which there's more than 16,000. contraption to show how hearing works and our project is called Earlandia. This is our ear, the outer ear, and here's the helix and the lobule. The sound goes down into the external auditory canal and it hits the eardrum. Once it hits the eardrum, it goes through the hammer to the incus and then the stapes and it drops down into the oval window. Then it goes into the internal ear, and this is our cochlea. And then it goes to the temporal bone, and the sound travels out into the semi, or I mean, into the brain. And then the semicircular step canals just help you keep your balance. Take 432. Just kidding, take 7. <laughs> <laughs> 